This kingdom is a level playing field where all hierarchies are removed by the grace and the genius of Christ. Nothing about Jesus was hierarchical. In humility, we read in Philippians, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing but taking the nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has exalted him, etc., etc. The inextricable intrigue and attractiveness of Christ is not that he's a great orator. It's not that he wears military regalia and commands the skies and all the armies of eternity. The intrinsic attractiveness of Christ to each of us that followed him, that we, that we, who, each of us who follow him, is his vulnerability, is his fragility. When, he, when we saw the picture of him on a cross, when the people were murdering him and he had the grace to say, they don't know what they're doing. The magnetic force of those moments is ridiculously powerful. He didn't leverage his positions. He is attractive because he didn't come with, he didn't bring his, all his, his he didn't bring his, his privileged position, but he came to us and stood alongside us in this level playing field. And none of us really know what to do with that, that but to feel our hearts melted. But we live in a world of leveraging. We live in a world of hierarchy, of privilege, of um, structures that are set up and it's endemic and it lives in every molecule in the atmosphere. And um, I heard it five years ago. I remember I listened to a person who was very, very powerful on that stage in Christianity in America. And I heard him say, how do I leverage the platform that God has given me to plant as many churches as possible? And in that moment, I just thought, go for it. I thought, fantastic. And then it took me like 1.2 of, of a second to think, almighty God, the maker of heaven and earth, who formed the genius of all of the universe, needs you because you sold some 10,000, some 100,000 books. He needs your, your notoriety, your name, your brand, so that you, he can plant more churches? I think you've lost the plot. I think that the attractiveness and the beauty of Christ has just seeped one degree away from you. Sadly, the, the history of Christianity is stained with hierarchy. Jesus sent his disciples into the world to disciple others but, but when he described this discipling, it was about serving. It was about coming under. He said, we go to disciple nations, but we didn't. We went and we colonized them. From years back in, in history, privileged people went to, I come from Africa. The privileged people came from Europe, and they came to our natives, as they called them, and they, 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 they needed advantages. They negotiated advantages and, and positioning and financial positioning, and they got cheap labor, and they got natural resources, and they negotiated all the stuff, and they, and they said, but we're bringing you civility, and we're bringing you Christ, and colonization has been written into the fiber of the history of Christianity, and it lives in most of us. Because I work in the world of leveraging. I work in the world of platforms, of people who have influence, of people who become moderately famous, and then they have, these, they have these opportunities to communicate to vast quantities of people to help them become followers of Christ. And the leveraging and the negotiating that goes on is absolutely, predictably cliched 24-7. But it doesn't only exist in the very powerful. It exists in, the, in, in those that haven't got it, that believe their inheritance is to have more so they can negotiate more 
all of the, everything I've just said is to communicate one thing. The Lord Jesus that we follow, that we claim allegiance to, had a genius idea. And that was to level the playing field of this life and build a community of servants and humble people who would know what it is to turn the other cheek and to forgive and forget and do a bunch of stuff and learn in community how to honor and to, and to grow in their own character and then do mission together because there was something of substance in them and they too become and be, have become attractive so that those outside can look at them and just see the beautiful aroma of Christ Jesus in our lives. Since your love got away